Hello everybody, Cubit2 here. In today's video, I have an unboxing from thecubicle.us. So I have a few cubes in here um, and some stickers, I think. It's been a while since I've ordered this because uh, the cubicle stopped taking orders for a while. It's been about a week or two. I don't actually remember all that I've ordered. So this is kind of a surprise for me. So I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, so inside the package, we have a very thick pack of stickers. You can see there's a ton of stickers in there. So we'll get into that. Um, we have a Shangsha 4x4 V5. And... Here's a Shangshao Aurora, and one more thing in here, we have some Maru Lube. So the first thing I'll get into is the Shangshao 4x4. So here it is, it's the same box as all of the Shangshao 4x4s. So my main is a modded V3, but I've had it for a while, and I've been using it a lot, so it's starting to die. Uh, so I thought I'd get a new one and see if it's any better, so this is the V5. I haven't actually tried one, so this is going to be my first turns. Alright, so the first thing I notice is that it's a little bit smoother, about the same speed. It's kind of locking on me though. Um, it's probably because it hasn't been broken in, tensioned, and lubed, but it's starting to turn better already. Uh, inner layers are kind of grindy, but they're still pretty nice. Uh, corner cutting, it's decent. Uh, this cube is really tight. So far it's performing pretty good. I think I just need to work with it a little bit more, and then it'll be pretty good. And I'll probably have a review out later. So, yeah, Shangsha 4x4. Next, we have the Shangsha Aurora. At a cube meet, I've tried a Shangsha Wind, and I really liked it, and it was modded, so I thought I'd just try out the Aurora. I was thinking about getting this or the CX-3, but I didn't want to pre-order the CX-3 yet, so I'll probably get that in later. Um, so this doesn't feel greasy at all, which is kind of surprising. Um, the stickers look kind of small, but it reminds me of a Dian cube. I think this is 56 millimeters, just off feeling it, but let's just do first turns. Whoa. Alright, so this is really smooth, but it's, yeah, this is turning really good. Um, it's really smooth um, when you turn it really slow, and then when you turn it faster, I can feel that it's kind of bumpy. If I had to describe it to something that wasn't cubing related, then I'd probably say it feels like I'm turning water. Um, you know, it's just really silky and smooth. And it's got an overall nice feel so far. Uh, corner cutting. Nothing special right now. It's kind of tight. And I think I need to lube and tension this one too to get rid of the spring noise. And to get the performance a little better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this one too. Alright, so now we have a huge pack of stickers. Not sure what puzzles I got them for, so I just want to get right into it. Here we have a 3x3 standard set. Um, so that's pretty nice. This is Fang Shi cut, even though I might not put, I'm probably not going to put these on a Fang Shi, um, but I like how they're cut, so I just got all Fang Shis for the 3x3 sets. Next we have a Fulbright set. Uh, again, Fang Shi cut, just Fulbright set from the cubicle. So I have a standard and a Fulbright, and here is a half bright set. So I have one of each of the sets from the cubicle. Um, so yeah, these are just half brights. And here we have my favorite set of stickers. It's um, a full bright um, with a deep blue. I got two sets of these because I always like to have extras, but yeah. Next we have a 4x4 set. Uh, again, this is my favorite set. It's not cut for anything because I don't think I'm going to be modding this 4x4, but it's just my favorite shades. Um, yeah. We have a 6x6 set that's um, cut for the flooring. Six by, fluorine modded 6x6 six because six, I have fluorine modded my 6x6. Six six. 
and the stickers are starting to look crappy, so I thought I'd get some. So yeah. So that's it for this unboxing of these two cubes and a ton of stickers from the cubicle. Expect reviews of these uh, two cubes in the future and an extra video involving those stickers. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click like to share support. If you have any questions or comments about the cubes or how I ran the video or just anything in general, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already and you like my videos, I encourage you to subscribe to me if I want to come up with future videos. So thanks for watching again, guys. Bye.